Hey guys, we're back again. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get the uh, the vehicle and the uh, caravan weighed. All right, we've got Dave from uh, Weight Check, mobile caravan and uh, vehicle weighing. All right, he's here in Brisbane. They also have uh, a chapter of them down on the Gold Coast. And I think you've got one somewhere else, haven't you, Dave? Toowoomba. And one in Toowoomba. All right, so Toowoomba, Gold Coast and Brizzy. Um, the good thing about these guys is they're mobile and they'll come to you. All right, you don't have to go to them. Um, the cost is about $250, correct, Dave? Yeah. Yep. $250 to get your vehicle and your caravan weighed. Three they do a three-page printout report, and you can keep that in the glove box, and um, they'll tell you how to move the weight around your vehicle if it is in the wrong spot, and also the van, all right? Now, this is all for safety, but also for your insurance. If your van is overweight and you go and have a crash, the insurance companies will come and weigh everything, and uh, if you're overweight, you'll end up losing, they'll null avoid your insurance, all right? So the $250 is a peace of mind. Okay, um, later on I'll uh, put up the phone number for Dave and his, and his guys. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over, first of all we're going to weigh the vehicle um, before we move on to doing the van and the whole lot. Um, once Dave, what he's doing at the moment is we've just gone through and got all the uh, GCM, GVMs, all the axle weights of the car, the van and all that sort of stuff and he's punching that all into his computer. Um, I'll introduce Dave to you in a minute and he'll also go through what it is that he's doing and why he's doing it. Um, yeah, just like to introduce Dave from uh, Weight Check. Um, we'll be able to give you a bit of a rundown on his setup and where they are and where they can come and uh, like your area that you cover to take go and yeah, that's right, people. Dave. We we cover an area from the Gold Coast right through the Sunshine Coast out west to Toowoomba. Um, I operate Brisbane and the, and the uh, Sunshine Coast, and I've got a franchised operation on the Gold Coast and in Toowoomba, so we cover a pretty big area around there. But it's all about helping people understand all these weights. What we're doing today, Dave, is we're doing six weight compliances here. Um, also checking axle capacities of the car, because it, it is a big lump there. We want to make sure you're, you're right with all those compliances. So we need to make sure that each of those six compliances we tick in the box. Is it only caravans and vehicles, or do you weigh other, like, what, what, yeah, what do you actually do? Anything. Boats, caravans, main, this is the main sort of work we do. Car and a caravan combination. Uh, we also do weight compliance reports for I heard of Bruder Caravans, yeah, we, do, yep, yep. we do all their weight compliance, so we, we certify their tear weights, um, but also, you know, we weigh boats, caravans, uh, motorhomes, all sorts of stuff. The majority of the stuff we do is this sort well, of I suppose year. if you have a uh, four-ton boat, like a big boat and a big car, oh, my you obviously you'd want to get yeah, that's right. weighed and sorted yeah, out. We, yeah, plenty of, plenty of boats are overweight, don't worry about that. To give you an idea, so far this financial year, we're, what, two months out of the end of the financial year, um, out of all the car and caravans we've weighed, we're sitting at 42% of caravans are overweight and about 31% of cars. That's up, that's this financial year so far. So to give you an idea, that's nearly 50%. And don't forget, the people we're weighing, the cars like yourself, uh, you and Roz, are concerned enough about your weights to make sure you're right. For every one person like you, there's probably 10 that don't really care. Yeah, so, well, I've seen quite a few cars go up the road, and they're either oh, yeah. like that as they're yeah. going, or the front end's got no steering. That's right. They're obviously either naive or just don't know that they're in the wrong. Sort That's of exactly thing. right. And, and you know, like you mentioned, insurance and uh, and you know all that sort of stuff. My main at my main um, attitude on it is basically it's your safety. So we want to make sure all these weights are right. Um, yes, you might get a chance of being pulled over and weighed. You've probably got a bigger chance of winning a lot, though. <laughs> but um, and the other thing is insurance. You don't want to be asking those questions. But my my biggest thing that I promote here is road safety and making sure that that is within its all its limitations. So we're at the Brisbane show, which is in uh, two weeks' time, the second of June, I think it starts. So we'll be doing the weights and towing masterclass there for six days, twice a day for an hour and a half, and it's all about. Everything about what we're going to do today, it's all about weights, safe driving practices um, and weight distribution and things like that. So I do that with um, Gary Gardner from Total Towing Setups and Jeff Palmer from Toed. Between the three of us, we've got a business called Talking Towing. So we shop ourselves around to uh, various caravan yards, uh, caravan dealers, and we do a one and a half hour presentation to their customers or future customers to make sure that they're 
you know, they well they understand all these numbers. As far as the Gulf Coast, the uh, the caravan show goes, we do that for caravan in Queensland. We've been doing that for three years for them now, and it's all about mm -hmm. helping educate people on all these all these numbers. It is confusing, like I say, you've got six compliances there, and they all interact with each other. So we've got to make sure we're so going the right way. Do you guys do a towing course as well, dears, or are you just yeah, talk so Jeff about? Palmer, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Jeff Palmer, my partner with in uh, talking towing, he operates Towhead, and it's a a driver training course. You both of you would do it, uh, half day or a full day course. And it's not just about learning how to reverse your caravan. It's about learning to have all these little tricks of the trade about weight distribution and how that car handles. Don't forget, you know, whatever you're, we're about to find out, but whatever that ball weight is, if that ball weight says 300 kilos, it's gonna impact the rear of that car by about one and a half times that weight. Yeah. And make the front, you know, a lot lighter. So. There's a lot of things going on there. We've got, what, nearly about eight tonne hurtling down the road there. You want to be confident in the way you're going to be operating it, and that's what Jeff's side of the business is all about. No worries, we'll just get Let's into it. Let's do some wire. Right. right, oh, that's all the numbers in there. All we're going to do now is get all the um, actual weights, put them in there, and the computer will work it all out for us. So this will check six weight compliances if you're carrying a caravan. It'll also check axle capacities, front, rear, uh, front and rear with the car, and obviously make sure that we're compliant in all those six six ratings. So these are actually scales. So they're what they call a load cell. Load cell. <clears throat> so yeah, so this is called a load cell. So ramp on, ramp off. This is the weighing area. Underneath there, there's four load cells. Those four load cells talk to each other and work out what the weight is anywhere on that pad. Okay. Send it back to the printer, uh, the, uh, the uh, controller. It'll print out the docket, it'll tell me the weight of each wheel, weight of each axle. So uh, what have we got here Dave? Right, uh, this is our controller, we just turned it on, it's doing a self check. It should hopefully come up with zero, it came up with zero, so we've got zero weight on all pads. I'll put my foot on that pad, I'm now exerting 42 kilos on it. So once it. we drive it up, we'll get the weight of each wheel, the weight of each axle, and the total. So I reckon we're good to go. All good, Dave. So it will take a little bit to get up there, but it's nice and steady, but it's going to go back to the front and back. Rule of thumb, ball weight. If you multiply the ball weight one and a half times, what's happening here is when you put ball weight on the tow hitch, or on the car, tow ball of the car, if you multiply the ball weight one and a half times, that's about what you're doing to your rear axle, roughly. So if you do, um, what's that, 339 multiplied by 1.5, what was it? 339 by 1.5 is 508. See how close yours is to that to that figure. Rear axle 3280. 486. It's close. Not far out. Mm. 20 kilos. They're about no, what's that? 30 kilos. 20 kilos. 20, yeah, 20. 20 kilos. So what's happened is because we're putting 339 on the tow ball, the rear axle's taking about one and a half times that load, or a little bit less than that. We're putting 486 on the rear. The front's getting lighter by 147. Minus 147, plus 140. That's what's happening to your car. They're, they're actual weights. Yeah, yeah. This yep. is the theory behind it. Yep. They're the actual changes in weights. But like I say, if you multiply the ball weight by about one and a half times, it's close. 508 plays 40, 486. Mm -hmm. Good. Interesting. Right, I slowly now. Beautiful. So 
So you know what I was saying before, what was it, 339? Yeah, 339. So we, because the car was up 60 mil, the caravan's yeah, nose up, we were 339, 324. Didn't change by much, but it's lighter. Yeah, that's because right. the caravan's not nose up anymore. Yep. So we've gone from 339, the difference of the car with and without the caravan was 339. The car was up 60 mil on pads. This is technically up 60 mil higher. Well, that's why we don't use that weight, we yep. use this weight, because this is with the caravan at exactly the same height as it sits on the car. Oh, that's that going to be 48. Something like 38 plus 3. Yeah, uh, 42. Yeah, 42. I don't have any numbers in my head. <laughs> 42. That's right. Well, the caravan's going to be under. Yeah, the caravan, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, but I was saying to Roz, I can move stuff from there to the van. Yeah. So we've got the whole back of the car load and I've got stuff in here at the moment that doesn't need to be in there that can yeah. go into the van. But yeah. what I wanted to do was I just wanted everything that I think we're taking with That's us. That's right. You can always take stuff out. That's right. So we got individual wheel weights, axle weights. We had the ball weight. Then it gives us our ATM. So we got 324 on the ball. Three. Yeah, so you, you know what I'm getting at this? Yeah. So we're actually... 320. I know it's not much difference, but it's what's that? 15 kilos. And that's just because the car was up on the car was up on the on those wheel pads there and there, so the caravan's nose up. So if yeah. you use that weight, we're actually we're actually lighter than that. Right, um, let's see how the caravan goes. Oh, what did I say? Three, two, four. Eight eighty. Eight eighty. That's it. Oh, no. Big ensuite. Massive ensuite, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is, no, it's all right, I don't need to go in, but I was just thinking, like, sometimes I put a, what do you call it, a, um, you know, club lounge, uh, not a club lounge, a, uh, yeah, club lounge. Yeah, yeah, we got one sitting oh, in the middle it? there, yeah, massive club middle. lounge, yeah. yeah. Well, mate, this time you'll feel, you'll feel it go up, down, yep. and then back yep. up again. Yep. You've got plenty of room. That time again, Dave's dad joke. Roz, did I tell you about how I got the sack at my first job in a bank? No. A lady asked me to check a balance, so I pushed her over. <laughs>